Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and today I'm finally going to be unboxing my Simply Gilded advent calendar. As you guys can tell, it is very late in December already, uh, but I just received my box. Uh, thankfully, I was able to uh, receive this package within the month. I'm going to be unboxing all of the goodies that are inside this box. I have already opened it because I wanted to make this video a little bit faster. I was really excited to receive this box when I pre-ordered it. I think the pre-order was in October. I saw the listing cover when it first dropped and I was like, okay, purple, and I was like, okay, butterflies. I do like both of those things, so I knew I was going to like the contents in this box. I'm currently filming this video in late December, so I am kind of disappointed that this didn't come sooner. I was hoping that it was going to ship before December began. Um, especially because it was a pre-order around October time, especially for international customers like me. Of course, this box has to go through customs and um, I do have to pay um, customs and duties, by the way. Um, I think I paid around like $30 Canadian for this box um, in order to receive it. It is a pretty big box. I mean, you do get quite a lot of things in here. Last year, um, I think I also paid around the same amount. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the box looks like because uh, it does have some design on it. Um, it does have this gorgeous butterfly design on the front here. Oh, I, I forgot to say earlier in this video, um, I did order the Simply Gilded Advent box last year as well. So I'll be able to compare both of these boxes as well to see um, how I like them. As you guys can see, I do have a little problem here with my box, which is really annoying. Anyways, I'm going to move this off to the side so you guys can see everything. So the first thing that you see when you open up the box is a um, journaling card. It matches the butterfly and sort of has this watercolor. This one is kind of more on the blue side. And then underneath this tissue paper is all of the little packets of goodness. So that is what the inside of the box looks like. Like I said, I've already um, tried opening them because I wanted to swatch all the washi. So now I'm just going to move this off to the side and just pick out everything. So this is day one. As you can tell, it's a flat packet, so there's definitely just going to be some stickers in here. I always like this packaging. It matches the journaling card, so I'm thinking it's going to be a theme throughout this whole um, box. So these are the stickers that you get in here. Uh, you get quite a few, so I'll quickly go through them. These are some Moon Kitty basic icons. They're the regular icons that Simply Gilded has in her shop, but they're cut out in the shape of a kitty and has a little moon crescent on the top, so if you are into Sailor Moon, you're gonna like that. <laughs> um, there are a few um, deco sheets here that say um, Sugar Plum Fairy, so I believe that was the theme of the box. I don't necessarily think there are like fairies in this, I believe, well I mean I think they're just butterflies in here, so there's not actually any fairies. But this is a really nice deco sheet, it is glossy. As you can see, I like the motifs of the butterflies as well as the rainbow. I think they're really nice. Uh, this one also says Sugar Plum Fairy, but it is a bookshelf. So this has a holographic overlay to it, but it still does have the rose gold foiling to it, which is interesting. So again, it has a lot of the purple. I love these, which are the floral moons. These ones are in gold. You get some Sugar Plum Fairy bows. Um, I've already seen a lot of the items in this box, as I mentioned earlier, and I don't think the whole box is necessarily Sugar Plum theme. I'm not sure why she decided to name it uh, Sugar Plum Fairies, because there's no um, fairies in it. <laughs> uh, maybe because of the color, because it is purple. So this one is also another holographic sheet. It's kind of uh, mismatched from the rest of the box, but this is Sea Friends. I guess because of the overlay. So these are more ballet stickers. It's kind of Christmassy because of the Christmas tree. Then you have um, the soldiers and then the ballerinas, um, the juniper ballerinas, which does go with the theme. Then you have these stickers, which say, I love stationery. So it's a stationery theme. And then these ones are presents. It's a little bit too late for me to use these present stickers now because uh, like I said, I've already finished all of my Christmas things. So. So those are all of these stickers for day one. You get a lot of sticker sheets in here. So that's what I personally like about the Simply Gilded advent calendars. You get a lot um, in one day versus just like one washi or one sticker sheet or one kit. You get a lot of different things. So I'm gonna open the uh, next one here. So this is number two. And this one has washi, which I've already opened and swatched for you guys. 
So you get four different washies in here. Uh, these are probably my favorite washies in the box um, just because I really like the colors and designs. There are some purples, um, some pinks, and then a blue one. Let me take out my swatch book. So these are what the four washies look like swatch. I really like this one with the um, butterfly. Apparently it's a fairy. Uh, and then this one as well it also looks really nice. It has a little bit more blue. And as I mentioned earlier, I really like the rainbow. I really like all of day two washies. These are all ones that I would probably use in my planner. Maybe not this mushroom one as much, but let's go check out what is in um, number three. These seals that are um, holding the packages together are really gorgeous, but they are peeling up a little bit here so bear with me this card is kind of like a greeting card it can be used for like a birthday or any occasion so there is a hot pink envelope and then this card uh, on the card it says you make the whole world shimmer so, so if you get the reference of this quote you're probably a taylor swift fan and then you have a sugar plum fairy kit so i'm going to open this up so we can see what it looks like i haven't actually opened this one yet so this is what is in the kit. So you get some date dots. They're kind of watercolory. And then this is the deco sheet of the Sugar Plum Fairy kit. Uh, then onto the rest of the kit, you have a few uh, boxes. You don't really get that many. And then some of them are like foiled like this. So it's a little bit hard to use if you are someone who likes boxes. There are a lot of headers here, as you can see. Um, I do think this kit is pretty. I like the colors of it personally. I'm not sure if this is really a sugar plum fairy. I'm just getting kind of butterfly vibes. It's not um, like ballet themed and it's not like super wintry either. So you can use this anytime really. Uh, moving on into day four, it is this little box and I thought it was going to be something like a figurine because last year's box had a figurine in a box similar to this. However, there are some new items in here that um, Simply Gilded brought to the shop this year that I was interested in. Uh, and these two items are um, a like sticker roll as well as a clip. So this is a really cool butterfly um, planner clip. I bought a few of these planner clips from Simply Gilded recently. I got um, her set of three. I'll quickly show you because I have them here. I just bought these earlier. So I have another clip for my collection. I think these are really cute. I like using them in my planner. Um, it does have a bit of like glitter in this one. So that makes it different from those other three that I've previously purchased. I think this is cute. Um, I can definitely use this in my planner because um, my color scheme just so happened to have a lot of purple in it this year for 2024, so uh, that will be really nice to have. And then you get this really, really large roll of stickers. At first I thought this was going to be all washi, which I thought was really interesting, but it's actually PE tape stickers. So uh, the back of this is not um, sticky, so that's why um, you have to be careful when you're unraveling this, but all of these designs are all individual stickers. The foiling is still rose gold and it has all of the stickers from the kit, all of the deco stickers. It has a holographic overlay to it. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, there are little star holographic designs on it. You get a lot of stickers on this roll, so you definitely won't run out of deco if you really like uh, the theme of this box. So, so far this advent box kind of does remind me of the old subscription box uh, that you used to get from Simply Gilded before she changed everything. Um, it's similar, um, to me it's similar because you do get uh, like a lot of washi um, and like a few accessories that are really a part of a theme. So it's really great if you do love that theme, but one of the reasons why I unsubscribed from Simply Gilded from the original sub box was because uh, like if I don't like a theme for example then uh, want to like buy the kit for example um, there there was a winter one I think it was the Iceland box I do really like the Iceland box I thought it was really cute but I find that I don't really use um, the washi because it was just so themed it's not something that I can use all year round for example so it's only when I want to do like an Iceland themed spread that I can use that washi, like the one with the puffins, for example. So I'm opening currently day number five, and this is a notepad. So I remember these items being available previously in uh, subscription boxes from Simply Gilded. I remember getting one. So this is just like a weekly notepad with top goals, to-dos, and notes. Uh, you can definitely use this all year round as opposed to some of the other items here. 
um, some of the more specific items. So this is really great for every day and all year round. So that was day five. I'm now going to move on into day six, uh, which is in this gorgeous envelope. I really like the design of this one. It has some of the butterflies here as well. Oh, I remember this one. Okay. This item was really fun. I thought it was interesting and goes well with the theme as well. So number six is a uh, medium-sized album as well as a matching bow. As you can see, it is this gorgeous holographic color. Let me take it out of the bag. So this album, as you can see, is a little bit smaller than the regular large album, but bigger than the regular quarter sheet album. And that is because this album is just for postcards. So if you are a regular shopper at Simply Gilded, you might know that she does give a lot of postcards uh, with her washies, sometimes in sets and things like that. I mean, there's one already right here. Uh, but this album is meant to put all of these postcards in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in show you guys it's a exact fit so I was actually expecting the album in this um, advent box to be the matching one of one of the albums in um, the fall box there was a pink album in the fall box um, I was expecting the large one to be in this box but Simply Gilda definitely surprised me and <laughs> put this holographic one in here it is really pretty though and I also don't have um, any albums in this size yet so that's kind of nice to have so day seven here is another fun item. It is a pen and a couple of washies. So these are the two washies that you get. They are, there are actually no um, confetti washies in here, um, but these ones are really cool. The color is this kind of purple periwinkle blue. Um, and then there is purple hollow foiling on it. And the design is sort of like a um, heart and bow like drops. If you can tell I will show you guys the swatches here you can see the design very pretty so those are those two and then you also get a pen that matches with the whole box so it has the butterfly design and a purple to pink ombre I really like this pen I'm actually going to put it in one of my planners because like I mentioned um, all of my planners this year are going to be sort of like a purple theme I unintentionally made it a purple theme uh, because all of my covers are purple. What number are we on? We're on number eight, and this is the packaging for it. Really pretty with the books here. Um, so if you are an avid, uh, like, Simply Gilded shopper, you might notice that um, she does like to repeat, uh, like, these books, for example. I believe this is one of her best-selling designs. A lot of people really like this one, so of course she had to include one of them into this advent as well because she knows it's a favorite. I personally don't have one of these bookshelf washies in this color theme so that's why I like it but if you're someone that buys like literally all of the bookshelf washies or already have purchased from Simply Gilded for years and years and years then you might already have something similar to this in your collection. But this is really interesting because it does have kind of like a hollow effect to it. It kind of goes with all of the other hollow elements like this um, album. And I'll quickly show you what the swatch looks like. This is what it looks like. And then the second item in day eight is this scrunchie. So um, as you can tell, it does have the like hollow theme that we've seen going on here. Um, I personally don't like this scrunchie. In previous Simply Gilded sub boxes, she did put in scrunchies. Um, I believe I have the like satin one from I think a summer box. And then I have the... Um, I, I think it was Park Avenue. No, it was like a fawn, fawn theme. I have uh, one of those, but those are all like cloth ones. This one's kind of like a plasticky holographic material. So for me, maybe it doesn't match my style, but if you're going to like a fun like themed party, if you have kids or want something as like a stocking stuffer, want to give um, to a kid for like a birthday or something like that, then they might enjoy this. I think it might be fun for them to have something super fun and sparkly, but for me, I'm not gonna wear this. <laughs> Again, if you are an avid lover of Simply Gilded, then you would kind of know that the quality of the scrunchie isn't what we know from Simply Gilded, if you know what I mean. So I was kind of disappointed with this item. All right, I just adjusted the lighting because the sun is currently coming out. Uh, I'm gonna open up, whoops. Uh, I'm gonna open up number nine. As you can see, my package did rip open. 
but there are a few washes in here and then a little fun extra item. That was, so this is number nine, like I mentioned. Uh, and one of the first items that you get in here is a coaster. I actually have um, my Simply Gilded coaster um, just sitting right in front of me from a previous box. This one is a really fun blue color. This doesn't really match um, a lot of things that I already own from Simply Gilded because I don't tend to buy many blue things, but it is fun and iridescent. Again, very much on theme with this box. I don't know if I'm going to use this one as much um, as some of my other ones, but it's good to have. Maybe I'll gift it to someone. And then these are the washies that come in day nine. So. Um, there are these three washies, which are personally not my favorite. These kind of have a blue-pink watercolor background, and then the foiling is hot pink. For me, I wouldn't get much use out of these three washies. I do think they're pretty, but I think I much prefer this one, which is the Mandela. This washi seems a little bit out of place in this advent box, but I believe last year there was a pink version of this, so she did reuse her um, artwork. and and decided to put it in this box. This washi does have a hollow um, foiling to it, silver hollow, and I'll show you what these swatches look like here. So these are what they look like. These washies are definitely pretty, but again, I'm not sure when I'm going to be using them because I don't think they'll match with a certain uh, like sticker kit that I'm using, unless I'm specifically using this sticker kit. So yeah, these are all of the items that you get in I think it was day nine, I, was, I said. Let's go on to day 10. So in day 10, this is the packaging for it. I can't remember what is in this one. Oh yeah. So in this, um, so in this little package, there are some more washies and then another fun little item. So the fun little item in here is a little patch. So this is a um, sticky patch, so I believe uh, you just take off the adhesive and then you can stick this onto like a pouch or something. Very stony clover. I like this. It does match the rainbows that are in some of the other elements. So that's fun that she was able to find something uh, that matched here. So that's kind of cute. Maybe I can find a pouch and put this on there. That would be really nice. And then um, you also get a few of these washies. So these washies I thought were really interesting. So these washies um, are kind of moving away from the sugar plum fairy theme and the bookshelf theme going into like more Disney theme here. I think some of some of the other items in here um, are also moving in that direction. I don't know if you can tell just from the rolls but they're definitely a like Tangled reference. I'm pretty sure one of the releases that Simply Gilded recently did um, or one of the sub boxes. I believe she did a um, like Beauty and the Beast theme and I'm pretty sure there was already like some something similar to a Tangled theme. Um, but these are some of the washies that come in here, and I'll show you the swatches. They're definitely reminiscent of uh, Disney, so if you're into Disney, then you would have liked these for sure. If you're not, then um, I think they're just really pretty, like, passport-themed washies. You can, tell, you can tell a lot because there are a lot of lanterns in this one. This flower one is a little bit out of place with the whole theme of... Um, this, it's just a different type of flower, but the colors and the colorway are a little bit different. And then you also get this one, which kind of looks like a sunset with a sun. So those are all the items from day 10. And then I have two more things to open. Um, so this is the second to last day. This is what the packaging looks like. These are the florals that were on the Sugar Plum Fairy kit. Inside here, yep. Inside here, you get a... Another journaling card. This one is fun because it has some um, overlay on it. It has the same star overlay as this tape. And it says, never stop dreaming. So this is what I mean. Um, if you like Disney, for example, then you're definitely going to like this because it's definitely a Disney theme. Um, here is the Rapunzel kit. So you can tell, um, so you can tell here is her tower with her hair. Um, nicely braided down there. You have a lantern, the kingdom, the crown. So these are the items that you get in the kit. You have your ombre date numbers here. This is all of the deco that goes with the Rapunzel theme. Again, this is the same format as the other ones, so there are lots of boxes. Here are your full boxes, decoration, lots of date covers as well. And 
then some flags and deco. So we are moving on into the very last day, which is day 12, and it is the biggest item here in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and untie it now. So the very last item from the Simply Gilded um, uh, 12 Days Advent is a little pouch. So this is super cute. I actually quite like this pouch. I wanted to take out the packaging to show you. Okay, so this is the final item in the Simply Gilded Advent box. It's pretty cute. It is a little clear handbag. It's in this gorgeous kind of light purpley gray color. So I decided to put it in a few items so you guys can see the size. But as you can see, this clear little bag has a really nice design. I like the color of it and it does have this really nice scallop detail, very simply gilded. Um, I'll just turn it this way so you guys can see kind of like the size and how much you can fit inside. Um, I think this bag is cute. Um, in past Simply Gilded um, sub boxes, she did offer like a lot of like small pouches and stuff like that. So this is along the same line, so it's very Simply Gilded. Uh, in last year's Advent box, um, she did give a pouch, but it was more like a pencil pouch, a really big one. I really like that, and I still do use that pen pouch a lot because uh, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, so this pouch for sure you can also use to hold all of your stationery, washi, that kind of thing. Um, if you don't want to use it as like an actual going out bag. It does come with a strap that you can wear cross body. Um, and the quality seems pretty good. This would be kind of like the perfect bag to bring to like a concert or something like that. In concerts nowadays, uh, you guys probably know you can't really bring uh, like backpacks or other things. You need to bring like a clear bag. This might be a good idea if you are into that. Overall, I do really like a lot of the things that are in the Simply Gilded um, Advent box. I think I did like last year's box a little bit better because it was more um, around stationery. Last year there was other lifestyle items like, like card holders or things like that. I think there was also a coaster. Um, or like a mouse pad as well. But the big item in there was like a pen case, there was washi stands, um, and other things like that, sticky notes, which we didn't get in this box as well. I do like this box, but I do think I enjoy last year's box because there was a lot more variety of things and it wasn't um, super themed to one color palette. So I was able to use a lot of the like washies and other designs throughout the year and, and the items in it weren't seasonally specific either so that's why I liked it. Whereas this box, um, I find that you have to use all of the things together. Uh, this one is a little bit specific so this one would match specifically only to um, this box as well as some of these as well if I'm not doing a Rapunzel theme. So these ones will kind of be like collector's items if you know what I mean. I will say that this box was pretty expensive though and um, on top of that because I'm international the shipping was high as well as um, I did have to pay customs too so personally I was only a little bit disappointed in this box. I think the only item that I don't really like in here is this little guy. I do think that this box is very still true to Simply Gilded. It's very Simply Gilded fashion. You're definitely going to like this box if you uh, like purple, if you like butterflies, and if you kind of like Disney as well. You're going to definitely be interested in this advent box. Um, I also kind of want to say if you're loosely into like Taylor Swift. <laughs> you know what? I do want to end this video on a good note so I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorites that I love from this um, box. So the first one is definitely going to be uh, the pen. I always really like Simply Gilded pens. Uh, I also quite like the clips because I use them quite a bit. Um, this one also has the butterfly on it, as you can tell. And actually, I think my next favorite item is this pouch because at least I can use it to put my stationary stuff inside. I did also slow down in purchasing a lot of Simply Gilded items. I actually recently purchased a mystery grab box from her, and I did get a few duplicate items for things that I already have in my collection, so that's why I'm sort of um, being a little bit more critical of the things that I want to order from Simply Gilded because she does reuse quite a lot of her designs or at least some of the themes as well. So, um, like I said, these are the three items that I think are really fun from Simply Gilded and are my favorites from this advent box. So I wanna know from you guys, what are your favorite items from this box if you did order one um, or if you didn't, uh, let me know what you think. I think as an overall, it's a pretty good box. I do think it is quite expensive, including international shipping um, as well as customs as well. So. This definitely was a splurge for my holidays. 
So yeah, those are all of my honest thoughts and opinions on this advent box. Alright, I'm gonna wrap up this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!